He is a beautiful man. The king and queen admiring behind the scenes B-roll. Here we go. What's up guys, it is your boy Scott from King Queen Cichlids bringing you yet another new video. Now today's video I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about Midas versus the Red Devil. Too many times I go into PetSmart, Petco and I see the generic label Red Devil and quite frankly they're putting anything from the Ampelopha citronellus which is truly a Midas cichlid to the Labiatus which is the actual Red Devil. And quite frankly, I think they are actually putting hybrids in there and saying they're red devils. So let's talk about the differences between the Midas and the red devil. Number one, I know you guys hate scientific names. I get it. I struggle with it myself. But it's important to know and identify what fish you have. If you purchase something, wouldn't you like to know that you actually have the fish that you wanted to purchase? The Midas is actually known as the Amphilophus citronellus. The Red Devil is also known as the Amphilophus labiatus. Both are from the Amphilophus species. They both are Central American cichlids that come out of the lakes and waters of Nicaragua. Number one, the citronellus, aka the Midas, is always going to have a larger nuchal hump than the Red Devil over here, aka the labiatus. I have here for your for your viewing pleasure, a Midas on this side and a Red Devil on this side. And you're going to be able to see the difference just visually looking at them. So, nuchal hump, Midases will always have a large nuchal hump. Even the females will get a nuchal hump, but they will always have a larger nuchal hump than the Red Devil. Hard for you to determine that when they're young, I know, but just that's one of the tips you're going to see. Number two. The Midas, give me a little buddy. The Midas's lips aren't as pronounced. They're more round. They have a more round, pushed in face. The Red Devil here, much more exaggerated lips. I, I call them Mick Jagger lips. And a much more narrower face. Their actual face lips come to a point where the Midas here is, has a much more rounded face. Now, you can tell that when they are younger. So that's a key thing to look for. Their lips and their snout, red devil snout should come to like a point where the Midas is going to be much rounder. Number three, body size, body mass. Both of these guys are going to get to like anywhere from 12 to 16 inches in length at adult size. However, the Midas is going to be much higher, broader, muscular, uh, not quite as mobile or fast as the Red Devil, where the Red Devil, and I just call it, I, I think the Red Devil has more of a sports car look, much more slender, more narrower, much quicker in the water in my opinion and based on people I've talked to who've actually done wild collecting in Central and South America. So, well Central America, I shouldn't say South America. Don't want to get anyone confused, these are definitely Central American cichlids although I love South American cichlids as well. So, nuchal hump, lips, body. Remember, the body, much broader, more muscular, where this is much more uh, narrower, slenderer specimen. Those are basically the three ways that I can tell the difference. When it comes to color, they're, they're going to have very similar colors. In my opinion, in my experience, I think Midas come in far more different colors. I could be, someone could be totally against what I'm saying. Uh, if you have more experience with Red Devils, you might feel like Red Devils come in more color or variation. It, it, it's, it's a toss up, it really is. As far as personality, both of them are similar. I can't say one is more aggressive than the other. Uh, I guess if I did a poll of people I know, I think that they would say that the Red Devil is a bit more aggressive. But again, that's, that's apples to oranges. I, I, I have some Midas that are absolutely nuts. If you saw my video last week, uh, that was a barbed Midas that was attacking my filter that I was trying to fix. Relax. Oh, 
Jesus. So, question-wise, both of these guys, it's, it's hard to say. I've had both for years, and I think it all depends on the fish. It really does. Both of them are highly aggressive guys. If you're going to keep these guys, keep them in a tank by themselves or with a mated pair. Uh, I wouldn't put any other fish in there, quite frankly. They're not going to survive. And there's nothing cooler than having a large cichlid in like a six-foot tank. They're absolutely incredible fish. These guys are in a six-foot tank with a divider in them, but really soon these guys are going to be separated and given their own six-foot tank. That will be happening probably in another four to five months. Diet, both of them are the, are, eat the same thing basically. In the wild, they'll eat like mussels, small fish, some vegetation, uh, but there's not much difference in what they eat. Uh, in my opinion, I would assume that the Red Devil probably eats a little more fish because they're built to be swimming fast, much more narrower, uh, especially, and that's going to be beneficial when you're trying to chase after fish. I think the Midas probably does a little bit more eating shrimp and mussels and, and, and vegetation and stuff. Again, just my personal opinion. Uh, spectacular cichlids. You're not going to go wrong either way. It, it, no matter what you get, you're not going to go wrong with either one of these beautiful fish. Um, they're absolutely going to become like a dog or a puppy. Uh, they're going to get very attached to you, they're going to know when you come home, they're going to get excited, they're going to splash water, they're going to want to get fed, they're going to want attention. And if that's the type of fish you're looking for, I can't recommend anything better than either the Amphilophus citronellus or the Midas, or the Amphilophus red devil, which is the Amphilophus labiatus. Two great fish, Central American cichlids, um, that are readily available in the hobby. However, as you saw at PetSmart, I would not go, I would, if you really want a true species and you want to stay true to the hobby and you want to raise a good fish that's going to live a long time, go to a reputable, reputable supplier such as Tangled Up with Cichlids or Cichlids of America and, and purchase fish from these well-known uh, fish companies that are going to provide you uh, exactly what you're looking for all right guys sorry to cut it short but that is my time for today hopefully you enjoyed this video determining the difference between a red devil and a midas cichlid this is something that i really thoroughly enjoyed speaking about this is what my hobby is all about i keep specifically the amphilopes and the parachromas family and i hope you guys will continue to watch king queen cichlids and enjoy my information, my adventures, my experiences with the Amphilophus and Parachromas family. Guys, one last thing. Don't forget, read books. Books still have some great information out there. I know people are used to Googling or watch stuff on YouTube, but there's nothing better than a good book. So pick one up, learn all you can. It's going to definitely make you a better hobbyist. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for Continue to support King Queen Cichlids. This is the first time you've come to our video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and um, watch the rest of my videos. Go back in, in some time and, and view my videos, and hopefully you'll enjoy them. If you have any comments that can help improve your experience at King Queen Cichlids, please leave those comments below. Um, and guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to King Queen Cichlids. I'm hoping in December to get back in the swing of things. Uh, but until then, you'll still get some sporadic videos, and I really appreciate your support. As I always say, stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive, and stay absolutely fishy. I hope to see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.